do a Q&A to answer all your questions you might have about the DCP. Yay! Yay! Okay. First one is, what shoes do we recommend so your feet don't get all swollen and hurting by the end of the day? <laughs> Been there, done that. Yes, and I will put in a clip so you can see. <laughs> Okay, um, so I tried Chacos. No, unless they're broken and do not try to wear those at Magic Kingdom. My feet were bleeding in like five different places by the time I left. Yeah. And, and wear shoes that have support if you have like issues beforehand. Like I have zero arch whatsoever. So I and I wore shoes that killed my feet every day. So I had to like find the right pair and it really just takes you seeing what works when you walk five miles a day and what <laughs> helps you yeah. the most, whether it be Nike shoes or a pair of sling bags, so. Good choice. Yeah, not um, Converse, because those, we were literally crying in the middle of Walgreens. <laughs> so on the floor, <laughs> sitting on the floor, crying <laughs> over our feet. <laughs> trying to find something to help our feet, but it was just sad. <laughs> Tragic, okay. But um, when it comes to work shoes, I know that might be a thing that you might be thinking about too, because mm -hmm. if you're standing all day long, and shoes that hurt like it's not gonna be pretty it's not gonna be fun um, invest when you get there you may think like mm, I'm just gonna spend $20 but those shoes will not last you the whole program I did that and I bought two pair well also lost a pair of shoes but I had to buy <laughs> lost one shoe and then um, so yeah so go to the Nike outlet that's a really like great mm -hmm. place to go yeah. to like get some good like Disney approved tennis shoes you get yeah. a discount. Yeah, and with quick service food and beverage, they supply you with tennis shoes, but they hurt. It feels like you're literally walking on a brick. So I went to the outlet and I bought Skechers like memory foam mm -hmm. shoes and they lasted my whole program. Yeah. I think they were like 30, 40 bucks, but it was worth it. Like I wasn't Yeah, and if you do what I did at work. first and you're gonna spend that twenty dollars or fifteen dollars multiple times so yeah. go Especially for it if you lose them <laughs> and if you lose one shoe make sure you zip your backpack all the way when you're leaving work <laughs> or so else don't fall out <laughs> don't do that okay. okay so the next question is did i take any classes what classes were they how did you take them so um my second program i took two online classes during the summer which is a lot to take during the summer because they're very quick very fast-paced classes and they're online so what you need to do at the very beginning first, I took them through my university and I emailed my professors like right when I started and let them let them know that I was gonna be working crazy hours. I really didn't know what my schedule would be, so if there's a test that was assigned for a certain amount of time, like I may not be able to like make those hours work. So yeah. did you take classes, Amber? I took Disney classes, but I didn't take any online classes through my university. I know Alex did and he ended up dropping one and barely passing the other one just because it was so time consuming to get them done plus yes. working full time. Take what you can manage. I yeah. took um, a geography class and a toxicology class which were both fairly easy, easy classes online so that I knew that I could keep up with the assignments because it was like one quiz a week in the test so it was manageable so yeah just know your limits and know um, what you can handle and your time management. As far as Disney classes, we took, I took two Disney classes. We took one together. Yeah. It was a PR class, which highly recommend. Yeah. Cast engagement so and human resources. Yeah. A lot of fun. We had to meet a lot of people too. From different roles, and it was really early in the morning. But the thing is, if you schedule a Disney class, you have the rest of the day off. So ours started at like, what time, like 8? It was really early yeah, for me. It was really, it was really hard. I had to drag her out of bed sometimes. <laughs> so I, but we did it. We made it through the whole class. It was every week for a, like two months or something, like September yeah. and October. Um, we but earned our ears. We earned our ears. We got a master's <laughs> degree. <laughs> and if you take like a class that's like a real class with Disney, you get a doctorate degree. Mm -hmm. Donald doctorate. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. so they don't. It depends on your university if you actually get college credits for these Disney classes. Yeah. Like I didn't get any credits. I didn't get any college credit because my university was like. No, that doesn't count, sorry. Yeah. But I had a lot of fun, learned a lot. 
I know I took Disney Heritage as well, and we took two field trips into the parks. If you can get into that class, get into that one. You basically have to be online ready to apply for it, though, because it goes so quickly. Yeah, I couldn't get into it, and I tried. Didn't get it, but that one's a lot of fun. It mm -hmm. like yeah, I had, I had a lot, lot of that class. class. Mm -hmm. And if you want to get class, like school credit, definitely like don't just take no for an answer. Just check out all your avenues if you really need to get that credit for it, and see what you can work out with your university to see if like those trips. Yeah. See if the credits can transfer. Yeah, so. and definitely talk to your university before mm -hmm. to make sure because they I like know. to have the syllabus and they like mm -hmm. to know like are exactly. you really being challenged in this class? Is it just Disney school. Yeah, so. don't wait till you get back and be like, oh, does this count? Yeah, I did that and they don't like it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so the next question is, did I go to Universal? And your answer, no. <laughs> okay, I don't know why, but I kind of saw Universal as the enemy. So I was like, <laughs> yeah. only Disney. <laughs> I did go also to saw, I did go to Universal. I also saw it as like the competition, and I, but I really love Harry Potter, and I really love. Butterbeer and I really wanted to try out and see um, what all Universal had to offer so I invested in one of these. This is a Universal Annual Pass. So the one I got was the Preferred Pass which gives you free parking and if you go, I don't know what the, the rate of an Annual Pass has changed a little bit but I got the Florida Resident Discount. Mm -hmm. Which so definitely get your cast ID before trying to get yeah. a, a pass. Mm -hmm. which is something that no one ever told me so there you go get your blue cast ID before and you also have to get like a letter from you can get at Chatham or Vistaway that says you live in like Florida housing and so you're a resident and you just bring that to Universal and you get a really good discount if you go four times then it's basically paid for and every time you go after that is free because you can set up like a flex plan and um, your days off if you don't want to go to Disney, which never didn't want to go to Disney, but there's always like people who really want to go to Universal and it's really fun. So yeah, I know a lot of my coworkers, they have the Universal passes. So. Yeah. Do you recommend buying one? Do you I don't regret it. I regret okay, I don't regret getting it. I regret not taking full advantage of it when I had the chance to, because when I came home I still had my pass and I couldn't go because I lived in Louisiana. It wasn't like a short drive over. Let's go to Universal. So um, it did last where I could go when I had a chance to go back, but I definitely didn't cancel it and I probably should have did that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you could stop your payment. So I was paying on monthly plan, so that was probably what I should have done. Stopped it when I left Disney. Yeah. <laughs> So the next question is, how did I find my roommates and what? This is a great story. Yeah. So um, she found me on Facebook, which typically Facebook is the way to go to find your Disney roommates. Mm -hmm. If you don't know anyone going in and it's a great way to like meet people online and sketchy, but not really because you're all yeah. like in this together and um, people like form group messages with people they might want to room with. So there was like a slowly growing message with Amber and a couple other girls. And Amber messaged me and was like, hey, congratulations on getting to the college program. Um, do you What's know? your arrival date? And I had chosen August like 11th or 13th, and Amber was like, no, I'm the 4th. <laughs> Change it to the 4th. I've never like talked to her before, and I like went and changed my date right then. No questions <laughs> asked. Just Sure, I'll change it. <laughs> Thank God I did because I had the most perfect roommate. Yes. And it worked out so beautifully. Yeah, and we weren't originally going to share the same room, but once we met at a Disney audition, like yeah. in person, we were just like, we have to have together. It has to be. So we kind of like moved some people around and asked everyone, and like, yeah, we kind of want to live together. So, <laughs> uh, but our other roommates, we all met on Facebook um, Bree, Danielle, Ashley, and Morgan were the yeah. other ones. And how it starts, like on Facebook, you kind of do like a roommate survey. So there's yeah. like questions like, what's your favorite color? What's your favorite Disney? Um, do you like mornings or nights? Yeah. Do you wake up early? Do yeah. you like it cool? Do you like it hot? <laughs> and so those are good questions yeah. too. And really pay attention to people's answers because yeah. there could be conflict later yeah. on. Especially like with temperature. Yes. Someone could be turning it all the way down and, and maybe someone's <laughs> freezing. Yeah. So, so take yeah. the... Take that into yeah. consideration. Okay. <laughs> Black. Black. Words. Okay. So the next question, kind of follow up with the remake question, is how we seem so close. And since we met as soon as we got accepted or got in the Facebook chat, 
we just started like talking to each other and we talked at least what like four times a week almost every day yeah and so like we were in a group message with all the girls and then we also would talk so we got really close before we even met and then when we met it was like quick yeah. instant we were like we, we got to Disney. Felt, like best friends plus yeah. we did a couple of google hangouts so yeah that was nice I too. forgot we did do that yeah mm -hmm. It was a bit of a struggle, but it happened. <laughs> yeah, it was hard like finding time for everyone to sit down and like actually chat, but being in different time zones yeah. too. Yeah, that so mm -hmm. different work schedules yeah. trying to. But definitely try to do it because yeah. we did get to know each other a little bit over that too mm -hmm. with everyone. We were actually in a wellness apartment because we were all under 21. Um, if you're 21, I believe you can sign something so you can live in a wellness, but wellness basically means no alcohol. And it applies if you're 21 and go into a non wellness or I mean a wellness apartment. Like, yeah, so, you just have to be careful. Yeah, and they will check. So if you are 21 and, and over and you go into a wellness and you are caught with alcohol, it's like an automatic turn. So, mm -hmm. which means you're fired. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, we were in a wellness. We were all under 21, which no issues whatsoever. We were really a good group of yeah. girls. So. No problems with that. And if you're under 21, you're automatically placed in a wellness apartment. So Yeah, it's not like, I'm going to live in over 21. Yeah. It's because I want no. to. No. <laughs> nice try. Like that. <laughs> so, but yeah, we were in Patterson. You've probably seen on the like, hashtag 4308. Yeah. So shout out to anyone who's lived there or will live there. It's the ah! best appointment. Yeah, we really loved great. it. We loved it. We forgot people were undressed sometimes, though. <laughs> we were on the third floor, so sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Big apologies to anyone at 4208. <laughs> so our next question is, how easy was it to switch shifts? And with my place, I actually had two locations that I could work at. I had like a home location and then another place in Hollywood Studios that was like, you could pick up shifts or they could pick up your shifts. So Because you're trained the same way. Yeah. yeah. And it was the same costume, same everything. And we had like the same managers and coordinators. So. For me, it was extremely easy, especially since the part-time and seasonal people needed hours and they gave the CP's first serve, I yeah, guess, because yeah. we have to pay for housing and stuff. Mm -hmm. And so, for me, I never had any problems switching shifts. I know when it was slow, they even called me a couple of times to ask if I just wanted the day off because they were overstaffed. You know, Never like, happened for me. <laughs> I took it a couple of times, but I'm like, I have to pay rent. So I did say Probably no a few times. <laughs> <laughs> On the other hand, I worked at, okay, so in the fall, I worked at Mission Space. There were a ton of CPs, a lot of full-time people, a lot of seasonal who stayed all year round. So they were always there to like help you pick up shifts. And you do that through Facebook pages and through EHH, which is or the shift exchange on the hub. But, um, the Facebook pages is really where that works, so where it all happens. And once you get your location, you really just like click right into the Facebook page, and um, that's where you like post your shows and exchange. It's easier at Mission Space. Um, in the summer, however, it's impossible. Don't even try. Well, I mean, try, but like I worked at Great Movie Ride, and it was a very small cast, and we worked a ton of hours, like upwards of 50, 60, sometimes 70 hours a week. So everyone's working overtime, you're all tired, no one wants to pick up your shift, and no one's, you know, like, giving them away is really difficult. So it just really depends on your location, too, yeah. and the season. During the summer, I mean, you can try, you can put them online, you can try, you can push people, but I probably only got off because I requested, like, three times, and I was yeah. there for three months. And so. you had to, like, really beg people, because yeah. I know when I visited you, you even had to work. Yeah, I times. worked, yeah, so, but it was good because we actually got to see her on her ride, which I have a video of. Click. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> okay, it's one of these. <laughs> Somewhere around here. You, it's very, very difficult to give away a shift during the holidays. Mm -hmm. Christmas, I worked yeah. Christmas, New Year's, Thanksgiving, everything you can imagine. I mean, that's, you know, Me CPs, too. you can't expect to be given those days off. That's really what we're here for is really to pick up those long hours and to work those yeah. holidays. Because those are like when, you know, everyone in the world comes to Disney World. They want to see Christmas and they want to see all the decorations. So. Yeah, so there's definitely a lot more cast members working. Maybe yeah. two or three people might be lucky enough to get off. Yeah, but like Danielle it's never Bell. seen Pete Christmas Eve or something Did she like really? That. So, yeah. Oh my gosh. But I don't know. Yeah, because yeah, like even our Thanksgiving that we did, we celebrated it 
late. December 1st. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because that was the only day we were all up and it wasn't until, what, almost midnight? Yeah. Because we were waiting for you to get off? Yeah. That's exactly what <laughs> happened. So, the holidays, don't expect to be given off. Yeah. Even may, if you request. Magic may happen and you may get off. But don't be begging to give away your shifts because your family's in town. Because no one's going to feel sorry for you and want to give like, you. like, we have family in yeah. town. Or it's a holiday to us, too. So don't, yeah. That's one thing that I heard a lot of full-time people complaining about. was like... Mm -hmm. CPs requesting off like holidays. Oh, yeah. For getting holiday tickets, uh, for Halloween, it was super easy for us to get a Halloween ticket just because I guess we went early. Yeah, get early and look at the dates where they're cheaper because mm -hmm. that's whenever you're gonna find like the most fun. It's gonna be a lot less people with their cheaper tickets. Yeah. For cast members, because we had like a few weeks where it was like discount. Yeah. And then once it got closer to Halloween, it was like, whoa, no, back to $100 or 80 something. So. Mm -hmm. So Halloween was the only, I guess, holiday we went. We didn't go for Christmas. I went with Chris to Christmas with, oh, Wait, with your family. I went to a Christmas party with my family, and I got the tickets in in the U. I went to Disney University, and that's where I got the tickets. In that little store. Yeah. Yeah. I tried to go to the Christmas party once just to visit Alex while he was working, but you have to buy them in advance. Like, if you're gonna go, you need to plan out and buy them early because you can't buy them the day before right. or the day of. Like, don't even try. It's impossible, especially for the Christmas party. So, moving on to what semester is the best for the DCP? We can't really answer that because we both didn't experience, you know, both college programs, but we both did the fall one, and I personally just could not imagine doing the spring after the fall. Mm -hmm. The yeah, fall is so since like they decorated for everything. So even we though to see all of it. Yeah, even though we were away from family, like we got to experience like Christmas and like the fall decorations, yeah. the Christmas decorations. We had we had like all the seasons at once. We had summer when we got there, mm -hmm. then like gradually moved into fall because it's Florida. And so we got to see all of that. We also had our birthdays in the fall, so the fall program. So, yeah, it was definitely awesome celebrating your birthday in Disney World. Yeah. Like, could you imagine? <laughs> it was so much fun. It's my golden birthday. Yeah. Videos too. Um, <laughs> also, I did the summer program and that was only for alumni and it was a lot harder, I would say, because it's so much hotter. It's so hot and you're wearing polyester pants and I wore a hat and jacket. They're busier, so yes. And the summer, like into spring, going into summer is when you have a huge like tour group season where it's tour groups from Brazil and from other countries and so it's a lot more yeah, um, you get the crowds to like deal with in bulk. <laughs> all at once. It's yeah. like crap. They're here. Not just a few families that are packed full like, or like the giant in the tour. fall. It was like you would hit holidays or like you would hit weekends and they would fill up and we'd hit you know a lot of the like, guest capacity but then it would slow down and then we catch up a bit and then it would slow down and then when it hit like closer to Christmas closer to like, the end of November that's when it got really busy yeah. so you had a lot more time to enjoy the parks on your days off 